How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in our video. So, of course, the 2023 NASCAR season is quickly approaching upon us, which means it's time to do the 2023 NASCAR season predictions for this year. So, of course, y'all know how the predictions work here five for trucks, five Xfinity. And 10 for the series as becoming a goddamn chore to watch and question my fucking life every goddamn day. Anyway, let's get this shit show on the road. Starting off with trucks prediction number one. Kyle Busch will have more wins than all of his KBM teammates combined. Prediction number two. Carson Hosevar will finally get his first career truck series win in 2023. Darian better fuck off. Prediction number three. Haley Deegan will finish top 15 in points in 2023. Haley has no more excuses this year. Prediction number four. Matt DiBenedetto will make the truck series chase in 2023. I can dream, damn it. Prediction number five. Sane Smith will win back-to-back -back truck series championships in 2023. Now on to Xfinity. Prediction number one. At least five drivers will get their first career Xfinity series win in 2023. Prediction number two. Cole Custer will have the most wins in 2023. Prediction number three. The Cup Leeches will combine to win only three Xfinity races in 2023. Prediction number four. Austin Hill will win three of the five Super Speedway races in 2023. Prediction number five. The final four for Xfinity will be Cole Custer, Austin Hill, Justin Allgaier, and John Hunter Nemechek. Now on the cup, prediction number one. Kevin Harvick will be the Daytona 500 pole sitter. Prediction number two. Another driver will get suspended for something that happened during the chase in 2023. Prediction number three. Kyle Busch will only win two races in 2023. Exactly two. Prediction number four. Another driver will have a win taken away from them via disqualification. Prediction number five. Chase Elliott will win three of the six road course races in 2023. The street race in Chatoilet will be one of them. Prediction number six. There will be 17 different winners in Cup in 2023, including only one first-time winner. Prediction number seven. Someone, whether it be a Cup Series driver or, hell, even an IndyCar driver, will attempt the Charlotte Indy Double in 2023. Prediction number eight. Ty Gibbs will win Rookie of the Year. Prediction number nine. The 2023 Cup Series chase field will consist of Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Chase Briscoe, Martin Truex Jr., Christopher Bell, Harrison Burton, Joey Logano, Bubba Wallace, William Byron, Tyler Reddick, and Alex Bowman. And of course, as per channel tradition, the 10th and final prediction for Cup is, of course, my pick for the 2023 Daytona 500. A channel tradition that's always been great to mine, having the 500 be my final pick. So for my Daytona 500 pick this year, this driver, it's not going to be a first-time winner. 
It's going to be a driver that's been long overdue to win a Daytona 500. A driver that's come close to winning this race on so many times, but has always ended up coming short on the short end of the stick. But I think this time, he gets it done finally. It's a driver a lot of people have predicted in the past to win this race and have all gone wrong. Will I have the same kind of luck, or will I end up being the, being the odd man in this one? We'll have to see, but with that said... My pick for the Daytona 500 this year, it's none other than Mr. Ryan Blaney. Yes, I'm hopping on the bandwagon this year. I think Ryan Blaney will finally get that Daytona 500 win that has long eluded him so far in his young career. But yeah, anyway, those are my 2023 NASCAR season predictions for this year. So of course, I'm after the season ends in November... Um, a couple, about a week after the season ends, we'll go back to this video and we'll see how I did. But anyway, those are my season predictions video. On to the 2023 season. I wonder what kind of bullshit we're going to see in the Cup Series this year. Anyway, though, I'm out.